Good morning from Tel Aviv at quarter to seven in the morning. Yeah, a bit tired. Today we are heading to Nazareth, Tiberius and the Sea of Galilee. And um, what we have to see, we're off to see where christenings take place, where Jesus was christened. Is yeah. that right? Na Nazareth, that's the place where he lives. He lives, yeah. yeah. Then we're going to Sea of Tiberia, yeah. where he got the uh, Tiberius, yeah. and uh, where he got like baptized. Ah, right. Yeah, that's in... Oh, yeah. It's on the border with Jordan, so... Yeah, this is our first um, pre-arranged book trip before. We booked it about a week ago, actually. A week today before we left, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. It cost us £70 each. We're getting picked up, funnily enough, where we stayed the first night, we're getting picked up just outside of there. Christian. At the minute we're heading to the church of, what is it Pete? Annunciation? No. Is it? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Annunciation? Alright, so uh, we have uh, entered the compound of the church where everything started from. Yeah. Um, the story is that uh, the house of the family is back there. We're going to go afterwards to the house of the family. And um, Mary, Miriam in Hebrew, uh, wanted to take some water from the spring. There in the spring she heard the voice. She was so scared that she ran away to a cave next to her house. And there in the cave, the angel Gabriel, not me, <laughs> revealed himself to her and uh, told her that she's going to have an immaculate uh, consumption. Yeah? Sometimes I say consumption and then... <laughs> 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 A person revealed himself to you and told you you are pregnant? <laughs> but he didn't uh, say to her, oh, you are lying to me. He said, I believe you, my wife, I will be with you all my life, faithful to you. This is something to really, you know, uh, inspiring as a man, you know. He was announced here, born in Bethlehem, grew up there in the house and in this village, and then returned very close to Bethlehem only to for his last week of his life. Below, uh, below him, you can see the uh, phrase in Latin. It means here is where the word became flesh. A human was born from the words. Like in the Jewish religion, we believe that the whole world, how God created the world, with words. With okay. So, uh, the, the architect Muzio, he incorporated a lot of information inside the in front of the building, from all sides. Uh, here, who can uh, recognize the events from the life of uh, Jesus? You can see uh, the, the, the journey to, to Egypt when they ran away, uh, the birth in, the, in Bethlehem, the crucifixion, the, his, his, the preaching in the north of Galilee, the, when, he, when he was baptized, Everything uh, you can see on the door, even in the beginning, Adam and Eve, the, the first sin, and Noah's Ark, you can see uh, a lot of details in the uh, copper doors. So this is the Church of the Annunciation, we walk around. And you can see where we're heading. We're heading down there. Heading down there. Second floor, the more active floor of the church. Uh, sometime when I when I came here for the first time with my father, 
just after Nelson Mandela was uh, released from prison, there was a big group from South Africa that came here and they sang and all the singing went from the hall downstairs. It's amazing, the acoustics here is something else. We have the tapes from that uh, time. Now you can see uh, on the walls some of the most amazing art here in Israel. Okay, uh, and we're going to see it even later in the courtyard. Everything is uh, dedicated to Mary and the Son. So my friends, um, I don't know uh, how much uh, emphasis is, is given to Joseph in all the churches around the world in the, in the teaching, but uh, even for me as a Jew it doesn't matter the, the, the religious aspect, just to think about uh, the person who heard from his wife that she's going to be pregnant from the Holy Spirit, I don't know how it happens, <laughs> but uh, and, and still to be faith to, to believe her, I mean they were just engaged, they were not even married, they were just engaged and, and he instead of uh, being with his wife for the first time, he, 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 he's giving, she's given to him with a baby and he continues to be uh, faithful to her all his life and to and to do the best thing a father can do. What, uh, in, my, in my opinion, uh, if you are, uh, you know, a famous person, a philosopher, a writer, a musician, then your children can, uh, you know, read your book, buy your CD. But if you're just a simple person, a carpenter, for instance, and uh, you don't want to give uh, all the other people in the village to uh, educate your son, what do you do? You take your son to work with you. While you're working, you speak to him, you know? Be a good person, you know? Uh, walk in the righteous uh, path, walk in the right way, read the Bible, you know? During the work, this is the best thing in my as a father can do, is take his son to work. You know, teach him, show him what you do, and in the way, teach him your morals, what you want to, to put in his head, right? So he taught him the craft of carpentry here in the house of the family. So this is the house of the family. Mary, Joseph, and Jesus. This church is really interesting because it was lying on top of a real natural house from the first century. So you can all see the roof from wood, the use of wood that we didn't see in the, in the other church. But now let's go and see the basics, the, the origin of this church. So this church lies on where Mary and Joseph lived. So usually the style of the architecture of the church is the modern church. Below it is the crypt. And if they are lucky they have also a grotto, a cave below them. And here we have everything inside. So let's see what they, what they found here. It's written in the first uh, line of the, the New Testament that Jesus is the uh, 10th generation from King David. Yeah? So uh, he was uh, from a very holy family. They're very orthodox, very Jewish orthodox. Now, uh, in the Jewish religion, we have uh, something uh, very special. It's called the ritual bath. It's not the bath that you take to clean yourself after the day's work. You need to take a bath in order to get into the ritual bath. This is a bath where you, where you go to before Shabbat, before a holiday, before you're going to be intimate with your wife. After the wife uh, finishes her uh, cycle, she needs to go. So it's a very special uh, place. And, and, uh, and, uh, Orthodox uh, Jews, they have one right next to their house. So they don't uh, need to go far between the house and the bath. And if you are a rich family, you, you can have one inside your house. Jewish religion, the women three times, the men seven times. 
and that's it. You go out. You don't uh, swim inside. You don't. Uh, it's not for fun. It's for uh, being being pure from your sins. Of course, this won't make you pure from your, your sins. It's only what's inside in your heart. Yeah. If you if you just do pretend, go inside and say, "Oh, I, I I've been to the ritual bath and uh, now I'm clean." You know, it's uh, it's just a lie. You're lying to yourself. So the mosaic inside is later, it's from the Byzantine era, but the, the carving of the stone is from the first century. So it's very uh, logical that this was the house of the family. And there is another proof why this is a real authentic place. fountain, something natural. But if the water here runs out or they somehow became dirty, you, need, you can have an extra pool. So you can understand this compound is very uh, sacred. Now, there is not a lot told in the Bible or in the New Testament about the life of the person. Usually, we get the, the figure ready, you know, he's 30 years old. But think about it, the, the 30 years of his life he spent here, you know? The, everything he built, all his personality is from here, from this area. We don't know, we, don't, we didn't read about it. We don't know what happened, what the events uh, changed his life during that time, but this is a very uh, meaningful uh, place. All right, my friend. This is the last part of, the, of our visit here. Uh, this is the southern gate. This gate is usually closed. It opens up only when the Pope comes to visit. You see, you, you see four Popes came to visit here in, the, in the 2000, 2009, and in 1964 when it just opened, and 1959 when they just started to build it. Okay, so this door was open only four times, and, and this is the way south. So this is the, the direct line to Bethlehem and Jerusalem. You see, the Annunciation, the birth, the life, and the death. Everything from north to south. Everything, all of this line of uh, life. What do you reckon, Pete? Good. Yeah, yeah really good, isn't it? That picture oh, is right. the best. <laughs> yeah, it's good, isn't it? Okay. Now we're heading back to the bus, onto the next part. Yep. Let's go. The berry, I think, is correct. Oh, is that where it's next? Yeah. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. And I'll see you all on YouTube very, very soon. Goodbye, everybody.